Hello guys, welcome back. Now in this session onward, we are going to start building the project which we have seen in our earlier session. So in this journey, we are going to learn about all these concepts we are seeing over here. So let's jump into the Power Automate portal to create the Excel Uploader tool. So guys, I am inside the Power Automate portal and over here to create a Power Automate program, we have to click on Create. This I already mentioned you and over here, we need to select the automated cloud flow and over here we need to select the trigger for our case we want when a file is created in a folder of SharePoint so that is inside the document library we are having a folder and where we are pushing our excel file and whatever the content which we are having inside the excel file that should be uploaded to the SharePoint list so this is the functionality of our tool so I will select this one and specify a name. I will call it as Excel Uploader Tool. This is the first step. Once it is being done, we need to specify the site address over here. So I will select lab exercises over here and the folder ID I am going to select share document. I will click on this arrow and select the employees quarterly award because I want that this flow will trigger whenever any of the file or say Excel file is getting uploaded over here. Then only this flow should trigger. So let me select this one. Now this is about trigger of the flow. Now next step I am going to create the application context variable that holds all the information which is required inside this application and that is reusable at many places. So to do that I am going to click on new step and over here I need to specify variable and I am going to select initialize variable over here and I will give it a name where application context and this is going to be of type object and within that I am going to specify all the required details so the first one is the site address over here I will mention make sure that this is key value pair so make sure that you are using double quotes over here else it will throw an error this is the JSON data we are creating site address and over here we need to specify the site address which I will pick it from here I will grab this one copy this and paste it over here this is the site address I want next I need to put comma then into and then over here I need to specify the folder name where we put excel file so let's do it I will call it as folder name this is one of the key and I will give it the value what is the name of the folder let me grab it so my folder name is employees quarterly award and that is inside the document library so I will select this one rename copy this one go back I will come over here paste it next we need to specify the destination list name where we are going to push the data so I will call it as destination list name and the list name is employees quarterly award so I will copy this one Make sure that you are also creating the same list if you are following along with me then you have to create all these custom columns. You already know that how to create the custom column. It is very easy. You have to come to the list setting click on create column and then specify the details about the columns. So for example if you click on create column over here you should specify the name of the column and choose the data type. This is one of the way. This is the classic way of creating the columns. With the modern way, there is different mechanism you have to do that. That also I will show you over here. You can create the list. Once you create the list, you should go inside the list. Then you will find over here, add a column. And over here, you can select what is the type of the column. You can select it and specify the name. For example, if you want to create single line of text, select this one, specify the name and data type, whichever you want to create. So it is pretty much straightforward. So now let's proceed further and I will paste it over here. Now next information I want the file name which is being uploaded by the user. So how I will grab the file name that is pretty much straightforward. First I will create the key over here which is called file name and then I will use the dynamic property of the trigger and the property is this one x hyphen ms hyphen file hyphen name hyphen encoded so I am going to select that one and make sure that that is also going inside the double quotes so I will select over here so I will put the double quotes over here and within that I will select this file name encoded and make sure that you are closing it as well so that we are doing 
Now next information, we want to grab the range information from where to where our data is there inside the Excel file. So what I mean to say that, let's look into that. So guys, this is our Excel file and the data range is over here. You will find that it is starting from this place to this place. That is K19, A2 to K19. We are having the data. So I will go back and create another key that is called table range and we need to specify the range of this data. So let's do it and that is because our Power Automate program read from that particular range. So to do that I will specify table range over here. This is another key and which holds the data from A2 to K19. So our data belongs to this particular range. So now we are done with all the variables which is coming in the form of key value pair and which is residing inside the object variable that is called var application context. So now we are done with this step. Now the next step I am going to introduce a scope over here that is very useful whenever we are designing any kind of a complex logic for our project. So always make sure that you are going to use the scope and that will help us to maintain our code or say maintain our logic whenever it will go inside the application life cycle. So it is very easy to maintain. So I am going to select a scope control over here and within that I am going to write all the logic which is required to create this Excel uploader tool. So the first step I am going to give it a name called application logic and now we will start putting the steps which is required to complete this tool inside this scope. So the first step we are going to use the REST API query to fetch the Excel file which is being uploaded to the document library. So how we will do that? Let's look into that. And this is where we are going to learn about work with REST API query. So let's jump into the Power Automate program and over here I will come and I'm going to use an action called HTTP over here. This is part of SharePoint connector and you will see it over here send an HTTP request to SharePoint and this is where we will pass the REST API query. Within the site address, I am going to use the variable concept which we have learned so far and I will specify, I am not going to choose lab exercises directly over here because I am considering that I am developing it inside a dev environment. But in future, when I migrate it to a stage environment or production environment, then I can directly do the changes over here within the URL, it will pick it up without doing any changes entirely into the code. So that is the practice I generally follow. So over here, what I do, I will come over here, select into custom value and I will go to the expression and I will start writing variables. And over here, I need to specify the name of the variables that is where application context, application context and then I put a question mark over here if the key available then only you will proceed so that is the syntax you can follow you can directly do this one as well without the question mark but I generally prefer to use question mark if the key is available then only you will proceed further so that I will use and over here I will specify which key site address I will mention site address and I will copy all this so that I will leverage the code. Now once it is being done then we need to specify the get method that is fine we don't have to do anything. Now next we need to specify the URI. Now next I need to specify the API URI over here. So for that I am going to write underscore API slash v2.0 and over here I need to specify drive slash root is means share document library over here and then specify colon slash so this is going to refer the share document library and within the share document library where my data is my data is inside a folder that is this one employees quarterly award so I need to specify this value inside a variable so how I will do that I will come over here and write variables and within the variables I am going to call it call where application context and over here I need to specify the source folder name make it source folder source folder name this will specify the value over here so let me quickly write it over here that expression variables and over here I need to specify where application context and then specify the source folder name okay next put a slash over here 
Now within this folder, I need the Excel file because our data resides at the Excel and that data I want to read. So to do that, I am going to specify the file name and our data is residing inside this file. So let me copy this one. I will grab this code and I will come here, select this one. Let me select this one. I will go back and put the file name over here i will call it as file name so this is the file where my data is residing now you will see that this has the source folder name and this has the file name now next we need to specify once we read the data in what form it should give the data so it is going to be the json so how i will specify over here in the form of header so let me specify the header information over here so for that i am going to write accept and over here i need to specify application slash json so that means we want the data in the form of json so now we are done with the configuration for this particular action that is our send an http request to sharepoint with the help of this we are hitting the rest api which is provided by microsoft to grab the information from the shared document library and our data is residing inside the excel and that excel residing inside the folder and that folder residing inside the shared document library and that is what we are accessing through this code and in what form we are getting the data we are getting the data in the form of json so this is our first learning in this project that is work with rest api and this is what i want to show you in this session but prior to closing this session let's rename the action so i will come over here and click on rename get data from uploaded excel make sure that you are saving it so now we are done with the first learning activity with the help of this project where we have created the variable called var application context and which holds all the information which is going to be used inside this particular project so make sure that we are going to specify over here we will call it as application context so that it would be more readable make sure that you always rename your action so that whoever will see your program power automate program he will easily understand your code whatever you have written so if i give this code to anyone that person can easily understand what actually it is and that makes my life easy nobody will come back to me for asking any kind of a question that why you have used it if i will give this program to anyone that person will come and directly see that oh this is the logic he has written so make sure that you are specifying a valid name over here valid plus meaningful name over here so now we are done with this session so let's wrap this session so guys in this session we have learned about how to work with the rest api using send http request action of sharepoint connector now in the next session we will take this project little further and we will look into how to use excel online connector with the output which is given by this step we will grab those output and we will feed inside this excel online connector that we will look into next session so on this note i am stopping over here see you in the next session till then bye bye take care